Today we are going to be talking about angle relationships. So there are four different types of angle relationships that we can have. And then once we learn those types of angle relationships, we can start solving with those relationships. So the first one is considered an adjacent angle. So they lie in the same plane. They have a common vertex and a common side, but no other common points. So here is considered an adjacent angle. Here's our common vertex. And here's our common side. We really don't do much, a lot of adjacent angles because we don't really solve problems with them, but I wanted you to be able to see it. The next one is considered a vertical angle. And they are two non-adjacent formed by an intersect, two intersecting lines. These are congruent. So let's review for a second. What does congruent mean? Congruent means equal. So let's look at this example. Let's scratch through that. That's not true. One and two, if you can draw an equal sign between, are considered vertical angles. Vertical angles are simply across from each other. So if one and two are vertical angles, what do we think our other set of vertical angles are? Perfect. Three and angle four. Those are our vertical angles. They are across from each other. Our next type has a sum of 90. These are called complementary angles. They have a sum of 90. So if you look at this first example, there's a box. That box y'all told me means right angle. Right angle has a sum of 90. So angle one and angle two are complementary. Or you could have them separated. Look, we have 65 and 25. Let's see if those equal 90. And guess what? They do. So these are complementary. So complementary angles have a sum of 90. Our next and final kind of angle relationship is supplementary angles. They have a sum of 180 degrees. So supplementary angles have a sum of 180 degrees. 180 from yesterday is a straight line. So these two form, three and four form a straight line. So they are supplementary. If we add 120 plus 60 degrees, that gives us 80 degrees, 180 degrees as well. That should be a zero. So those are also supplementary angles. So if we review, adjacent angles have the same, have a common vertex and common side. Vertical angles are two angles that are formed by two intersecting lines. They're congruent. So these are big words y'all need to remember. Vertical angles are congruent. Complementary angles equal 90, have a sum of 90. And finally, supplementary angles have a sum of 180. You need to remember those. Those are going to come back in handy. So we're going to first talk about, one, just labeling examples. Using that idea of those angle relationships to label examples. So look at example one. We've got to figure out what type of relationship. Adjacent, vertical, supplementary, complementary. They do share a common vertex. And they share a common side. So if they share a common vertex and share a common side, what do we think that is? 
it is adjacent. It is adjacent. All right, let's look at the next one. We would say it's not adjacent because they don't share a common sign. So now it's either going to be vertical, supplementary, or complementary. Are they crossing at an intersecting point? Are two lines intersecting each other? No. So it has to be supplementary, complementary, or it could be none. So let's add those two angles up. 71 plus 20 is 91. It has to be 90 to be complementary or 180 to be supplementary. So this is 9. Sometimes you may have a 9. Number 3. What do we think this is? So I could see how you're it's adjacent, but adjacent's not going to have degrees. Adjacent or it's not going to have degrees. It does form a straight line. So we should automatically think since it forms a straight line, it's supplementary. So let's add up the degrees and see. 140 plus 36 is 180 degrees. So it is supplementary. It is supplementary. Look at number four. There should be something that automatically tells you what this is. Looking at that diagram of number four, what automatically tells you what this is? You're right. This box automatically tells us it's a right angle. Right angle is equal 90 degrees. So what equals 90? It is complementary. It is complementary. And finally, number five. They are two intersecting lines. Two intersecting lines. Is one and two across from each other? Yes, one and two is across from each other. They are across from each other. We can draw equal sign across from them. So they are considered vertical. They are considered vertical. So if we review, adjacent is always just going to, never going to have a degrees in there. But it's going to have a common side and a common vertex. Supplementary equals 180 degrees. It forms a right angle. I mean, 180 degrees, it forms a straight line. So supplementary, 180, forms a straight line. Complementary is 90 degrees. It forms a right angle. So complementary, 90, forms a right angle. And finally, vertical. They are across from each other with two intersecting lines. They are congruent, which means equal. So in a few minutes, we're going to learn how to solve equations with these relationships.